Okay, hello, my name is Fredrik Svarnberg. I am marketing director at uh, Dataton. We make a product called um, WatchOut, which is a, a multi-display production and playback tool for any kind of multi-display applications. You find it very common creating widescreen digital scenography for corporate events, but also in fixed installations in museum, theme parks, uh, studio work, live broadcasts, scenography, any type digital signage is also a very common application for the product. So really anything that goes beyond the standard format single screen presentation you can create with WatchOut. And everything is completely software based, it runs on standard PC computers, so there is no expensive proprietary hardware involved anywhere. So what you're seeing here is the uh, the uh, production interface and I will show you some simple things how to uh, how you can work with the product. Uh, up on the screens here you will see some case studies, uh, uh, I mean projection on cars, mapping is very popular these days, also projection on large buildings you see very often. You have a, a giant outdoor museum projects, also projects with seamless LCD screens creating digital scenography in architectural uh, events and studio work. So, if I go move over a little bit here uh, to the WatchOut production interface, I will show you how you can build up a, a, a simple effects here. So, I'll, let me just jump somewhere on the timeline where it's left. So what you see up here, WatchOut basically has three windows. So up here you see the stage window, uh, here is a timeline when you make the composition with all the different media and here is the media bin. So it looks very similar to any kind of video editing tool or Photoshop or, or any media production tool that you're used to. Uh, you make compositions with text, graphics, images, video, animation and even live video and dynamic media can be integrated in the same kind of presentation. So up here you have the three displays. These are the three uh, LCD screens that we have here. So you can position screens in any way that you want. So if I enlarge this window a little bit and if I add another display here. Uh, let's see. And uh, if I add another display, I take another 19, 20, 10, 80 monitor here. So if I have another screen here, I can just position that anywhere in my window. So if I had another screen over here, I just position it there. And WatchOut automatically calculates the distance between the screen. If you're using projectors, you can even overlap the screens like that to create an automatic soft edge blend so you can create seamless panoramas as big as you want. So there's absolutely no limitation of how many screens or how many pixels that you can use. Uh, it's just a network of computers. So you, any number of screens, any number of displays can be used in the same production. And this is what WatchOut does. Sometimes clients ask me, can I do this on the right screen or can I do this on the left screen? And then I say, no, 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 there is no left screen or right screen in WatchOut. Everything is just one screen. This black window here is your working space. This is your <laughs> canvas. Then you can have 15 displays there or 100 displays there. It's the same for WatchOut. Then you come back to the production interface here and uh, so let's drag down. I just take a JPEG image here from my media bin. I drag it down to the timeline and as you could see there I have my image. I do the magic command update and now you can see those images are downloaded and uploaded on the main screens. And if I now, I, I see I cannot fill that complete uh, screen over there, so then I can just go back to the image and I can go up here and select a, um, I take a uh, scaling function. So from that point on, I want to enlarge the, uh, I want to stretch out the image so it covers all of the area like this. So I just go back on my timeline, I update, everything is in real time, so here is the original image and then I just stretch it out to, 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 to cover all the images. And it's just as easy to make, uh, let's take a, uh, maybe I take this bicycle here. Oop, that was a big one. Uh, let's uh, scale that down a little bit perhaps. So I, I scale that bike down so it more fits down here and I can uh, position that over here. I update and up there you, you only see the bike overlaid on, on the graphics background. Again, I can just add a position track to that and easily 
move that uh, through my screen areas, just like this. So here is here comes one of the basic functions of Watch Out that you can do all these things in real time. Now this bicycle coming flowing through the screens, uh, and this is really how it works. And if you want to replace that bike with some other graphics, maybe you take this other Photoshop image of, of a of a small leaf. I just update that and now I have another graphic doing the same animation. So you can replace media very quickly. You, if you want to change the motion path here, if I want to do a slightly more Mr. Paul Mortimer, I ad advanced, um, I make a little bump effect up here. Oh, sorry. So I do something like this and I can create a slightly more advanced animation curve here. Watchout is not a, if you use the 3D animation or any other live animation, Watchout is really simple. But as you can see, you can very easily change uh, the, the speed and, and the motion path in this. When you're using video, it's the same thing. Uh, if, I, if I take away that, uh, actually I'll change the background here. I'm going to change this to, uh, uh, I have a. Uh, uh, let me just look at. Where did I put that image? There. So I put another image here which I can bring up then on my screen over here beautiful image of some flowers and I take this small video on top of that this is just a glass of water which you see has a very green background that that's the um, sorry let's just move that down a little bit like this so it looks better so you see that <coughs> video is video on top of the background image and just a glass of water and you can also very easily apply chroma key effects on this. So I go into the tween menu again, I select uh, green key. You can see already in the preview that I have uh, removed the background and now you can see it also live on the real screen like this. So a lot of built-in real-time effects. Uh, all the effects that I'm doing here, they, it applies on everything. So if you have text, graphics, animations, video, audio files and even live video feeds. You can have live camera feeds coming in to, to, uh, uh, to the same presentation. I have, uh, for example, here in the task window, I have uh, over here, I bring up, or I, I take this one is that I take that one over here. You can see that is actually Joan's computer now coming up on top of the glass on top of the on top of the background image so so there you can see that you have a composition of uh, so if I drag uh, this uh, top image away a little bit I drag this down here somewhere you can see But that is the, the live interface coming from a computer. So you can mix anything. You can have a live speaker with a camera inside the same presentation as you have videos playing in the background over any number of screens. So this is really what, what the product is doing. You can be very interactive because everything is in real time. No, everything is rendered in real time. So you can change everything immediately. You can replace media at any time and uh, choose any screen configuration that you want. So thank you for your interest. If you want to see some more, I mean, you can check out our website. It's dataton.com slash watch out. Thank you.